I see in 2018 is it a yeah or a nah? Many of you guys who have an iPhone SE ask me should I upgrade and many of you guys are there because of the fall in the price of the iPhone SE are asking me should I buy it as my first iPhone. So these are the questions I'm gonna be answering in this video and I'm gonna be telling you that why or why not or is the iPhone SE a good phone in 2018. Let's start off with the display and the design. So it has an aluminium boxy design and it feels pretty much premium. Yes, it is a premium smartphone when compared to others. Now coming to that display. It has a 4 inch IPS LCD display with a pretty much low resolution. Of course, it does not meet those less standards of 2018. Yes, because most of the budget phones right now do come with that display with an aspect ratio of 18 to 9. So yes, it does not have that bezel-less display. That's a disadvantage of this phone. Coming to specification, it comes with Apple's A9 processor which was launched in the iPhone 6s. And yes, it is a successor to the iPhone 6s and it came with the A9 processor, 2GB of RAM and plenty of storage options. So how's the performance after 2 years? I can say it is great. Yes, it is not that bad. And with iOS 12 around the corner, I think the performance of this device will improve a lot as well. So I'm pretty happy with the performance of the iPhone SE and do not see performance as an option or performance as a reason so that I can be upgrading to a new phone in 2018. You should be sticking to an iPhone SE if performance is your concern. Now let's come to cameras. It has a 12 megapixel camera with an aperture of f2.2. It has face detection autofocus and yes, a dual tone LED flash. So how's the camera of this guy and does it meet the standard of 2018? I can say yes, because it has a great camera and the performance of this camera is pretty amazing as well. You can see great colors, the pictures are sharp enough and you won't see any problems. Yes, it has a single camera and you miss that advantage of a dual camera setup such as telephoto or you also miss the portrait mode on this guy. But I can tell you that performance of the camera can never be an issue for you to upgrade to 2018's new phones. The iPhone SE can also record at 4K 30fps. And yes, it is a compact device and do not forget, it was the last iPhone to have a headphone jack. Now, so how is the iPhone SE in 2018? Should you upgrade or should you buy an iPhone SE in 2018? So I'll tell you that if you have an iPhone SE in 2018 and if you really want those bezel-less displays, then go for those and upgrade. But if you are happy with the display and the performance of the iPhone SE, and you should stay to it. You can spend one more year with the iPhone SE for sure. It has great performance, the camera is decent enough, it has all the necessary features such as the headphone jack and yes it is a great phone. It is compact on one hand device and if you are fine with it, I can say that you can keep it. Coming to the battery, it can last me almost throughout the day. I can get around 3 to 4 hours of screen on time on the iPhone SE at moderate usage. It does not have a big battery and I'm fine with it. I've been using this phone for one and a half years and the battery health of this guy is nearly 85%. So I can tell you that the battery capacity of this guy is quite good and you will be happy with it if not satisfied with it. Yes, if you've been continuously using your phone in the last two years and your battery capacity is less than 70% then I'll tell you that upgrade to a newer phone. But if your battery health is good enough, then I'd tell you to spend one more year with your iPhone SE and then buy a new phone in 2019. So guys, that's pretty much it. Thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it, and I'll see you in the next one.